So I'm doing a follow-up to my video of Linux Deepin is spyware, since Linux Deepin themselves have put out an official statement. Well, I feel highly privileged that they've done that, but their own statement still doesn't clarify their position of what they are doing. As of version 15.5, it communicates unencrypted to a Chinese tracker, CNZZ. And this occurs automatically approximately 20 minutes after the system boots up and is carried out via the App Store. So I would like to point out this is my first accusation against Linux Deepin being spyware because at version 15.3 and 15.4 it was spyware free as far as I could tell and I made a video as such. So Linux Deepin's statement. Recently there is a saying that Linux Deepin is spyware. The logic is that Deepin has CNZZ links within its website and app store. Actually I didn't specify a website but since we're here we can actually double check that and yes it does. I don't really care about the website because I have a choice whether to connect to this or not. Anyway, and since CNZZ will collect some client information in the browser, thus Linux deep in is spyware, it is really a serious problem since nobody wants to have his or her private information leaked, as in the Facebook event. Deepin has to inform all those interested parties that our App Store backend is a website and CNZZ is a famous internet statistics analysis service provider that collects website anonymous usage information such as browser user agents, resolution, etc which is just the same product as Google Analytics. Yep, I didn't say anything different to this. Deepin uses CNZZ to collect website access information and to know and to improve our website experience and to detect website problems. No problems about your website. No private information can be collected this way just by the data above mentioned. We hope this clarifies the spyware thing above and promise again that Deepin has not collected user private information in the past and will not collect user private information in the future. And a couple of links to the video and a Reddit post as well as the information of what CNZZ is. Okay, let's go through this. Right, you're making the connection to CNZZ unencrypted. So anyone monitoring the traffic, say at a choke point through the Great Chinese Firewall, can see who exactly is using Linux Deepin. Because you have contained the tracking information as a parameter to the unique resource identifier, uh, effectively say this part after the question mark on the URL. So anyone monitoring that traffic can see who is using Deepin. And we know that the first version of Linux Deepin to have this feature was version 15.5. We also know that Google Chrome is a few versions behind and that is pointed out in the comment over here. So yes, Google Chrome is several release points behind, uh, which actually has stated that they probably have to supply it themselves since Google's web services may not be accessible from China, okay? So yeah, no problem in principle on that. However, you are supplying users a vulnerable piece of software and you're also allowing other people to see just who is using Deepin due to the fact it is unencrypted. And we also know the specific version and therefore we know the specific applications that people have. Therefore, it is leaking more information than you realize. So about no private information being collected, we don't know exactly what CNZZ do. We have a 500 plus line JavaScript that may or may not load other pieces of JavaScript in here. It is a little bit encoded. I'm not gonna say encrypted, a little bit encoded here. So it may be doing more than you actually realize. It's difficult to tell. And going back to the point where you liken it to Google Analytics, well, who do you think benefits from Google Analytics? Is it the site owner or is it Google as a wider entity? Because now Google can see exactly where people go outside of their website. They have an even greater ability to analyze what users do. So I'm agreeing that you may well have innocent intentions about this. Gaining a wider insight to the number of users who are actually using Deepin regularly on a day-to-day -day basis, because how else would a Linux distribution do that? Download figures don't tell you anything much, and that is precisely what most Linux distributions deal with, is download figures on maybe their positioning on DistroWatch. That's no indication about how many people are actually using the operating system. If you want an example of how you could have collected the information that you're trying to get, you could have done it through a tracking pixel and just sent off, say, HTTPS, most importantly now, because we're not going to easily be able to see everything after the address here. So we're gonna say, yes, I'm using version five and I have a screen resolution of HD 1080. And what is returned from the website? This is nothing. It's just a one by one pixel. That would have been fine. If you had done that, then my previous video would never have been made and I wouldn't be making this follow-up video either. 
That's all you wanted, that's what you should have done. You didn't need to go to a third party tracker who can gain a wider insight to what users are doing. And you may have been able to do it encrypted, so you wouldn't have had to show off all the data through the Great Firewall of China and allow the Chinese government to see exactly what people are doing, what operating system they have, and then have a way to attack it. The Reddit information did cover mostly the same thing, however I will address one further point here. It's like going to store.kde.com and realising they have Google Analytics code on the page. Just an example, I don't know if they do. Well, actually they do have Google Analytics on a page, but my point is I don't have to visit the website, and anyway, you can block Google Analytics and CNZZ quite easily. But the way I could have interacted with the KDE store is via an API, through the programs, and this doesn't contain the tracking information. So the fact I'm accessing it this way protects me from the tracking. There is no such ability to move away from this with Deepin since the tracking information is placed within the App Store, which opens automatically for the updates. So there is no escaping it. However, you can escape it within KDE. And I suppose the final point to mention is people noticed I was using Chrome and said, yeah, the irony that you're complaining about privacy whilst using Chrome. Well, there is actually two reasons for that. The first off, I don't have to show my bookmarks toolbar. And secondly, I have cookies blacklisted in Chrome, whereas they're whitelisted in Mozilla Firefox, which funny enough, websites like Reddit don't open if you don't have their cookies enabled. Hmm, gee, I wonder why. So yeah, I have to go and use Chrome or faff around enabling the cookies in Firefox, which I can't be bothered to do for a site I sporadically look at. Chrome is not my day-to-day -day browser. Well, I hope that clarifies a few things. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.